Hi, I'm Emily from Life So Savory, and today I'm going to give you some tips for making this really fun mesh beach bag. Everybody needs a bag like this in their life because one, it's full of pockets and you cannot go wrong with lots and lots of pockets. So this bag has an inner pocket attached on a strip with a zipper for putting your valuables or other things you don't want to get sandy or wet depending on where you're going. We also have another inner pocket here and then the outside has lots of pockets all the way around the entire bag. So that's what I'm going to kind of show you how to make and um, we're going to take a look at some of the steps that go together to make this bag. So I've already made the zipper pocket here out of ripstop fabric, which is a water resistant, tear resistant fabric. And I've also put a little strap, which we would attach to our side seam so no one can run away with your things. Then I've also made this um, just easy open pocket, which will go in the top of our bag when we sew that in just a second. And then um, we've also assembled one side of the bag here. So you can see the strap is already on and then we have the pocket on top of it. So what we're gonna do is create the other side of the bag so it looks like this and then we can put it together. So I've already edged the pocket and I'm gonna show you now how to finish the raw edge of this mesh because it's kind of rough and not really very pretty. So in order to proceed with making the bag, we need to finish that. So I've cut a one and a half inch wide strip of the same ripstop fabric and we're gonna begin by sewing it along the outer edge of this fabric. The other thing that I wanna take with me as I move over to the sewing machine is this pocket because we are also going to put that into this seam. All right, so we're gonna make a, essentially a binding with this strip of fabric. And so with just a straight stitch, I'm going to stitch down the edge of this bag using the foot of the sewing machine as my guide. Do a little back stitch at the beginning. And then we're just going to sew down, keeping the edges of the fabric and the bag lined up. And I haven't really pinned this because essentially all we're doing is um, keeping the edges lined up and there's not a lot that's slipping or sliding as we're going down. When you get to the other end, you are going to want to back stitch again to secure the fabric. And then we're going to take this off. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold over the binding and we're also going to add our pocket to the center. So to make the binding, you are simply going to do a double fold. So on the opposite side of the material that we just sewed, we're going to fold our fabric once, and then you're gonna fold the fabric twice to fully enclose that seam. And I like using clips to secure it. It's nice and easy and quick as we go along. Now, before we get too far, we wanna make sure we put this pocket on the top edge of our bag. So I've already pre-sewed it. We're going to find the center of our bag. And you can see this one is going to be slightly smaller than um, the original orange one, but it's fun. It's a fun pattern because you can create it in multiple sizes depending on what you want to use your bag for. It's perfect for days at the pool, days at the park, or any time that you're outside because it's easy to clean and doesn't get dirty and holds a lot of different things. We've already tried out the orange one at the beach and it works great, plus the sand comes right out of the bottom of the bag, which makes it perfect for those sandy or dirty trips. Okay, so now we have this on here and I'm going to just straight stitch down again, top stitching this in place and also securing the pocket in the center. So you wanna try and stitch near the folded edge of the fabric to make sure that that is secure and in place. And of course, because you can see these stitches, it's best to use a coordinating thread or one that looks good with the fabric that you are using. The mesh is a bit stiff and might get some getting used to sewing as it can be a bit unwieldy, but once you get used to it, you can just end up sewing over it like any other fabric. 
Combining the ripstop fabric with the mesh gives a great look and also smooth finishes to those rough mesh edges. Okay, make sure you back stitch on the end. We want that to stay nice and secure along the way. All right, so now we have the, the other side of our bag and we're going to come over here and put it together. So the pocket is actually on the inside of the bag. So I'm going to lay the bag right side up and then line up the pocket with that. Okay, and so then we're gonna add our strap, which has already been pre-cut to match the other side. And one tip that I like to do is once you've already sewed one side of the bag, use that as a guide for pinning on the other side and then your straps will line up perfectly. So if I lay one on top of the other and then I can match where this strap and this strap meet and then my edges my strap edges will be exactly the same. And for this, you're going to be pinning through two layers of mesh and one layer of strapping, so it is best to use some big pins in order to hold that all in place. Okay, so there's our, gonna be our inside pocket, and now we're gonna go ahead and stitch down the strapping. You can use many different widths of strapping for this project. This current orange one is one and a half inches wide, and the pink one that I used on the other bag is actually two inches wide. So depending on what look you're going for, you might want a wider or a thinner strap, but the wider is the better, and honestly is more comfortable to carry um, if you are putting it over your shoulder. So I just like to stitch down one side of the strap, and then sort of pivot across the bottom and sew up the other side. And you can use a thinner or a wider seam allowance um, depending on if you're gonna see your threads or if they blend right in like mine do. You can't really see where the stitching is so it doesn't really seem to matter too much how close I'm stitching to the edge. When you get to the top, I like to go across that top and back stitch a couple of times to really make sure it's secure to the top of the bag. So we're gonna turn. Go across. And then you would stitch the other side of the bag in the same way. Now, let's take a look at how we would put the rest of the bag together um, to finish this project. So after you have sewed the straps on, you would put the bag together right sides, and then we're gonna sew the side seams. Now the one thing you wanna do in the side seam is I like to put this extra little zip bag into the side seam so that um, it's secured into the bag. So because this is gonna be the inside of the bag, I would put my zip pouch on this side and then tuck the strap into the side. And you could put it higher or lower depending on where you want that into your bag and then you would just secure it. For sewing the side seams, I stitched all the way down and then I folded the seam allowance over and I stitched the seam allowance down one more time so we have a nice flat seam. Again, this is plastic mesh, so the edges are a bit rough, so you wanna make sure you've finished those um, the best that you can. Once the side seams are sewn, then with right sides together, you insert the rectangle bottom in the bag, and I just lined up um, the sides and then stitched, pivoting on the corners, and then turning it right side out for a finished and really cute and very useful beach bag.